Alright, so we got a Turbo 400 going into 77 Suburban with a 454 big block. Now, this uh, unit was just rebuilt, supposedly, before the guy got this truck. And uh, a lot of metal in it, a lot of issues I found, I'm going to show you. Uh, we'll start with the pump. If we look close, we can see where the pump was cut down and machined and sleeved for the sealer rings. Well, that ain't the end of the world. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, the back side actually got a crack. If you look close you can see it right there. Boom. That's that's no good. Uh, the gears and the cover are chewed. Show you something interesting here. This has been machined out the pocket you can always tell because of the extra thing there. Now this is a good use pump that I got new gears for and you'll see what I mean. See how sloppy? And uh, this won't fit in the other one. So anyhow, it was a reman pump. Uh, the outside is, is chewed on the, on the gear. That's no good. Um, it's pretty much junk at this point. I don't think they make gears bigger. That's, so anyhow, done with that. Uh, I got a good use pump out of a caddy. Uh, thank God, because we can't get parts for this thing. Hard parts are about impossible to find uh, locally. Thank God I've got several of these units tore apart, so new set of gears and all, numbers match, we're good there. The end play issue, so when this unit was assembled, notice the machined ridge here and this, and if you look really close, there's a step bevel that's missing off of this one. So you have a washer here on the hub that isolates it from the drum, you have the plastic washer here. Now, these drums float, so like on your direct, so this is the drum going in it. You have your sun gear that sits in the, the gear train portion in the back. You have the shaft that goes in, and your direct drum sits on top of this. So that sets your height on the direct drum, and of course, you know, the center support's in here, which I could do more videos on it later, or whatever. Um, but that sets your height, so nothing pushes and pulls, because this has bearings top and bottom, so this drum doesn't really deviate much unless you have a bushing failure or planetary failure. Uh, the point being, if this is copacetic, that forward drum or input drum is critical in setting tolerance between the two and the pump stator. So, you know, you have selective washers on the pump. They had the thickest and it was still all kinds of out of whack. So what happened, and I'll show you this real quick. This is pretty wild. If you put the hub in like she rides, you know, because remember this is what sets your, you know, in play a lot and also it's what isolates drum to drum. So this is the good drum out of a 400 caddy unit going in it. Now these are worn washers and you can still see the gap. So it'll be even better when we set it up new washers. Check this out. The drum that came out of it, these washers had failed majorly. This hub was changed. You can see here the shiny where the shaft, the, the little main shaft here, was actually grinding. And the only reason it was grinding is these washers had failed in the other drum and allowed all this to drop and get even closer down. So we're going to put the drum they reused and check that out. So somebody reused a bad drum that was already machined down a good eighth of an inch and slapped some washers in it and another hub like so and uh, called it good. So needless to say the whole time the gentleman drove this after buying it you know it's just constantly chewing metal up 
So it's just something to watch. So the drums float in the front. You got to have good washers. You got to make sure you don't have uh, a drum like this. That's this is the worst I've seen with an in-play issue. I mean that's just nuts how far it machined. So uh, yeah, whole time he's driving it, first and second gear, it's just grinding the hell out of the drums back and forth. <clears throat> Something else interesting to note: snap ring groove, typical. Uh, Turbo 400 direct clutch drum. This is out of a Cadillac. Look how higher the groove is. This one is six clutch, whereas these you can do five. Everybody says it's the piston. It's not. On these old caddies, I think I hit on this in the switch pitch videos, that's actually machined a lot higher up to accept the extra clutch and steel. So basically, had it been assembled correctly from the start, and somebody actually uh, put a good drum back in it, they could have set this thing up and uh, got the end play correct. And this guy would still be driving a nice Suburban, wouldn't he, Charles? Yes. Very <laughs> so, much. So, it's kind of a bad thing they uh, didn't do it right, but what do you do? You fix it right and thank God for spare parts. You're welcome. <laughs>